Hey, what's up you guys? Quick word. Thank you, first of all, for watching this video. Thank you for the, you know, incredible support that you've given me over the years. Doesn't matter if you've watched one video, or you've watched a hundred, or you've watched a thousand, because there is almost two thousand videos on this channel. Thank you so much. The time has come. The time has come for me to create a reaction-based channel. I asked you guys the question. Over 80% of you said you would be interested in that, so I've decided to take the, the, the leap of faith and um, create a brand new channel. Zero subscribers, zero views. This will be, this video you're watching right now will be one of probably the last five or six reaction videos you will ever see on this channel based around the Rugby Player Reacts title. I'm officially retiring my series titled Rugby Player Reacts. In the future, I will be putting all of my reaction videos on my second channel, Jake Reacts. I wish you all the best. I hope that I'll see you there. If you do want to subscribe, please do. The link is in the description box below. Like I said, this is going to be one of the, the last reaction videos you'll see on this channel. I'm going to put my heart and soul into this new one, and I'd absolutely love your support. If you enjoy my videos, I know you'll enjoy these ones. I'm in Rockhampton now. This is my new environment. You'll see all of that, plus more, on my new channel, Jake Reacts. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the video. Right, guys, how are we and what is going on? My name is Jacob and I'm a rugby player. I'm a huge fan of American football and with that in mind, there's a guy that's been on my newsfeed for, 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 for so long, but I, I haven't, I've just decided to put it off, put it off, put it off until now, okay? His name's Terran Beckham. He is what I'm led to believe an ex-pro football player taking on the game of rugby and actually playing. Now, I've got two, uh, two videos saved, okay? This one is, uh, you know, I, I, wish I, I wish I had have been following the journey from the start. But there's too many videos to watch now. There are two that we're going to do today. One titled My First Rugby Match, Pre-Game Talk and Training, and the next one's actually his highlights from the game. So before we get into this, I'm going to look him up. I'm going to get some stats. I'm going to get the story, and then we're going to have a look. And I've been looking forward to this, man. A lot of you guys have recommended him. I've been putting it off, putting it off. But today's the day, so let's go. Odell Beckham Jr.'s cousin. Really? What's his name? Yeah, Taron Beckham. Okay. He doesn't have a Wikipedia. I'm 2016. Taron Beckham hasn't played football for five years. Taron Beckham fell through the cracks of the collegiate recruiting process. As a three-sport athlete, the running back didn't concentrate purely on football and remained ignorant to the entire approach. It hurt my progress as far as being seen by scouts and getting better looks by colleges, but it allowed me to grow more as a player, especially as a running back. Because I never served as a... I'm happy I got a chance to see what I can do my first full season. I played almost every down in every game. Honestly, I wouldn't change anything, even though I lost connections with what could have been. Okay, so that's where he transferred out of Dallas in high school to Maryland. In his, final high school in his final high school season, the senior ran for more than 1,300 yards and scored 17 touchdowns, yet he drew little interest from college. Okay, this is back in 2016. How old is he? Terran Beckham, Wikipedia. How does he not have a Wikipedia? What the fuck? What do we got here? He's a model. A fitness model who shares his skills and influences many from a social media and YouTube platform. Okay, so he's a YouTuber, effectively. But an absolute beast. Born on the 28th of July, 1992. Well, alright then, let's see what he's made of. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I just honestly... He, he does actually, he does kind of look like Odell, doesn't he? Thank you. I wonder what position he's playing. Tell me he's in the back line, please. To everybody that's really been showing... This guy's a running back, coming into the game of rugby. Keep that in mind. It supports me in this uh, new journey of mine um, into playing rugby. Um, I never thought, honestly, that I would be playing, you know, just me coming from... 
you know, Dallas, Texas football guy. You know, my goal was always, you know, NFL. Now, there's one thing that comes to mind when I'm when I. I think of anybody, it doesn't matter if you're an ex-football player, basketball player, you could be an ex-tiddlywinker. To understand the intricacies of the game of rugby, especially around the ruck, is hard for even me as a, full, as a you know, lifetime rugby fan to understand. So I'm very interested to see you know, how, like how, he, how he does really, overall. So let's listen. <clears throat> I never was thinking outside of the box and this opportunity that came to me um, is once again, it's, it's, it's an emotional experience. Um, I took my first game in two days. We leave tomorrow to New Orleans. We play NOLA. Um, the game will not be televised or anything. I think it's just like an ex. ex Who's he playing for? Or something. So um, hopefully I can get some game film. He's playing for an MLR team if he's playing NOLA, right? Uh, for myself, maybe I can just kind of like analyze uh, myself um, for the video. Uh, but I don't think I'll have like full on game film. So, that being said, I'll try my best to get what I can for you guys uh, to, um, to show you pretty much my gameplay. Uh, so, I've, I've been training basically for two weeks and a little bit over two weeks now. Two I'm weeks? Really good, still trying to learn. Um, I've actually been hopped around. Uh, now, this video came out two weeks ago, so he's been training for, for four weeks, effectively. Few positions. Um, well, not really few. Just like center. Center and wing. Nice! Uh, but nice. this game, I will be playing wing. Wing! Um, coach pretty much said just run the ball. <laughs> uh, but I, I feel confident. I'm confident, honestly. I'm actually confident in my Just passing. run the fucking I'm ball, man. In my passing. It's actually... The oh, the passing. See, I didn't even think about that. Now, let's, let's see what a football player thinks about passing a spiral pass with a rugby ball. The fact that when I get the ball, it's more so of what do I do? <laughs> yeah, just run. run but it's like you know, I'm looking for a run and attack and maybe pass off somebody else or should I just run try to bulldoze through um, or do what I can to fuck this is interesting guys very very interesting thoughts that we just don't have as you know lifetime rugby players but then again put me on a football field and be looking for blocks rather than just running on your own that's totally different you know so I understand this guy's pain score the try and um, if I don't get, if I get tackled, I'll uh, get down, try to get the team back the ball. Um, so it's just a lot of things going in my mind and it's like um, I'm slightly scared. Well, I won't say scared, I'll say nervous um, because he's definitely got the body for it. Very long time. Um, Colorado. Very, very, very long time since I've been in a competitive sport. Look at him, he's huge. You know, to be at a, a professional level, you know, finally. It's um, 230 very, pounds. It's just, just very nerve wracking. I'm going to say. Especially for a new, a totally new sport. It's not like professional level where I play a sport where I know about. Um, it's, it's a totally new sport. So it's just like, just the rules itself is very overwhelming um, on the things that you can do in rugby. And I'm just trying to grasp as much as possible um, so that you know I, I can become better so I can help out my team. Um, I don't, I don't want to just be a person that just gets the ball and run. I want to know the game so I can help my team in situations so I, I can understand what you understand the game better. You're able to do things outside of the box um, than just your position. And that's uh, the goal I have for myself. Um, you know, I, I definitely do need to study more. I've been watching hella games, hella film, hella highlights, hella players. I've been watching hella people, but I need to narrow it down to actually opening up my book more and uh, writing down stuff for memory purposes, uh, for just the rules, the laws of the game, and how to play it um, properly. Fundamentals uh, will be key for me to do better in this new sport of mine. Um, so, I mean, that being Man, said, his coaches are going to be huge in his development, but I mean, he's in a professional environment, so you can't get better than that. Dude, you guys are really showing so much support. I really appreciate everything um, you guys are commenting about, doing, and once again, don't take it personal or like get on me too hard about my pronunciation or things that I say off into defense stuff. Once again, I'm American. Rugby is not much of an American sport yet. Um, and you know, I'm, I, I grew up playing football. So those wordings and understandings are still implemented in my brain. Uh, therefore, it's, it helps me better understand certain situations or just, just terminology. 
so as time goes on, once again, I've only been doing this for two weeks. So, you know, saying, you know, attack instead of, I mean, offense instead of attack or uh, defense instead of defend, you know, they're simple, simple things, simple changes that will come. How can anyone hate on them for that? Time as I get deeper, deeper. Get a life, guys. Or even somebody complained about me saying practice instead of training. It's rugby what? training, not practice. What? Mate, as a lifetime rugby player and fan, from New Zealand, the home of the All Blacks. I've said rugby practice many, many times. And rugby training many, many times. Rugby training, rugby practice. Honestly, it's a flip of a fucking coin. Guys, what are you doing? Anyway, this video's got 1.9 thousand likes and six dislikes. So we can't be doing too bad. Like, but it's those one or two comments, you know what I mean? Especially, I can understand having gone into the world of American football, tried to play, you know what I mean? And obviously, said a few things wrong or, or, or just felt scared, felt nervous about playing, about entering this new sport, that those one or two negative comments do tend to stick in your mind. So I just hope that that uh, actually inspires him to keep going. Give me a break, guys. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best here. I've only been doing it for two weeks, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, so two I'm weeks, bro. It will go a lot better, and it will be something I will stick to. Um, and the spirals. Other people, football players, coming in and saying, it's not, it's not practice, bro. It's training, you know. Or it's not offense. It's attack. Please don't say offense. You're upending me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> laugh it off, bro. Stuff like that. Um, but, dude, few laugh it videos, off. You know, I, I've been a YouTuber for a while. And I've, you guys that have been here since the beginning have seen me in my highest. And you, for the last two, two almost three years, have pretty much seen a stagnant, you know, position in my my YouTube channel, and and it's pretty much been at its lowest um, for the last couple of years. So to actually see growth and consistency with these videos is uh, really motivating. You know, it's motivating uh, for me. Um, actually, get. A little bit more funds, of course. Um, let's be serious. You know, YouTube does bring me funds, so the more views and stuff that I get, and likes and comments, um, the more reach that I get. I'm actually getting subscribers again. I was at uh, two. I was at 356,000 subscribers for over a year. Holy you know, shit! That number, not above or below, 356,000 subscribers. Wow. Just stayed there for almost like a like a, pretty much a year now. That is testing. My subscriber number did not change. Mentally. And um, that's pretty, it's pretty frustrating for a YouTuber to come to that point and still continue to um, want to put out content as best as possible. Um, and you know, just, just do the best I can. But um, this new journey of mine, which you guys have wanted to see, is something that um, you know has really helped my channel out. So uh, thank you for that, and um, you know more videos to come from rugby, from you know watching other people's highlights, reacting to them, to my personal practices and gameplay and stuff, and um, just talk about it. You know, um, I want to boost this sport that gave me, that has given me a chance on a professional level. Um, yeah, I wanted to say that as well, like, obviously Americans probably respect this guy, respect his opinion, being that he's been involved in football, and if he likes the game of rugby, if he genuinely enjoys it, it's only going to be good for the game, so, respect. And I, I want to help it out to grow as much as possible in America, um, because, I'm going to keep it really simple with you guys, rugby players should be getting paid a lot more, period. I don't know what they get much paid, and I'm pretty sure that they get paid more outside of America. But since football is the dominant sport in America, the rugby players really don't get paid much, um, much at all. And I'll make a video about that and the situation. So people are asking how much do you make and all that stuff. And uh, I just keep playing it simple. It's not much. Like I do better off on my own. Um, it's additional income. That is the pot. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I have the epic bar. I mean, it's a it, that's the positive of the situation. It's still additional income. It's more than what I was making. <laughs> you ain't a what? An epic bar? Is that is that a sponsorship, bro? Oh shit. Okay, so we've got we've got. Uh, well, this is basically his Wikipedia in his words. A fitness and gaming influence, born and raised in Dallas. My goal is to bring together a healthy and positive community where despite our differences, we have a goal to beast out in the gym and live our lives happily. 
I love gaming, fitness, anime, and trying to combine them all with what I do. I lived in New York for four years and even got tryouts from the Jets and Colts with no college experience, just my hard work and dedication. Now I make training videos on how to better yourself in and out and help the community with learning and entertainment. I'm currently in Los Angeles training clients in person and online, but training with the Colorado Raptors? No, not the Raptors, Colorado. It is the Colorado Raptors, okay. Or, you know, I, it's a, you know, I was making this much, and then, you know, you just add this amount and still, you know, more. Um, but, you know, for me, I could do without it, you know, to be quite, quite honest, I could do without it. And, um, and there's want that's keeping me because I want to do this. I want to be with this sport. I mm. want to play professional sports. Um, I want to play on the international level. Um, I want to play against really good teams. I want to get better. And um, that's, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say to um, everybody. But, dude, um, everybody, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Look, um, for everybody, if you made it this far in the video, 50% off um, all of my programs code rugby. Um, I have ultimate athlete programs for those looking to get a little faster, stronger. Um, and, you know, any other program you would like. So 50% off uh, code rugby. That's a little little something for everybody who's made it through this far. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to my videos. Um, also, Alpha Clothing, you go Aftermath for 15% off. Um, we got a new restock, so definitely check that out. Right, mate. I'm not going to take on any of your codes, but I did really enjoy that. I did. I took a lot from it. But the next video I'm going to take even more from, and that is your highlights from your very first game. So let me get that video up. <laughs> there he is. Playing in my first rugby match, highlight and vlog. All right, boom. That's the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's go.